Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. This week we're doing a Q&A outside in the garden because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. So we just set this camera up and get started with the questions. So I'm not yet as cool as the people who have got a camera and then their phone. So. I have written the questions down. I've got a cheat sheet next to me uh, on the windowsill next to my phone. Uh, and I'm just gonna talk through the questions and put them on the screen and give you my answers. Also, I probably won't be able to cover all the questions I got asked just because there were quite a few of them. So I've picked my top like five, my favorite ones. Uh, and I'll try and keep this video not super long because I do love a ramble. But anyway, let's get into it. So, one of the questions I got asked was what was my favourite part about the off-season and my least favourite part about the off-season and I think that my favourite part about it is obviously just the flexibility that comes with being in an off-season, being able to go out for food and not having to worry about the calorie content of what you're eating, um, being able to just enjoy like spontaneity a little bit more and not have to be so concerned with like taking your meal prep with you or like being over your calories or, or whatever it might be and also not having to find as much time to do cardio that is a bit of a pain in the ass um, especially as your cardio does increase um, if you are in a dieting phase you need to fit that into your day so it can be a bit of a ball ache um, I think that is my favorite thing about it um, is that you've got more flexibility with food and less kind of time consuming with with training and cardio and everything and also your strength is amazing and i personally much prefer my shape in the off season when i'm curvy i'm carrying a bit more body fat i just feel like i look more feminine and i just prefer it um i think i like the least about the off season which i don't think i would have ever said before was just having to eat that much food at the end of my kind of most recent off season uh, before this recomp i was I was struggling to get all my calories in. Um, it was really, really hard. Uh, I just didn't feel like eating. I wasn't that interested, especially because like, I was putting most of my food in in that post-workout window, which was really, really filling. But then I just didn't want to eat for the rest of the day. Um, so I think that's my least favorite part. Um, and you do feel a bit more bloated more often, but to be fair, I, I really enjoy the off-season. I think I enjoy the off-season more to a dieting phase. I'm not sure. They've both got their pros and cons. Um, and that segues nicely into the next question, which was what were my favorite parts about the, uh, about prep and my least favorite parts about prep. Um, and what I love about prep and what I like about any dieting phase is the structure. I feel like my routine is so much more on point, more deliberate. I'm more like, bah, 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 bah. I just get more shit done because, because I've got more things to fit in and I need to be more deliberate. Like when am I eating so that my performance is my best so that I'm not fucking hungry? <laughs> How am I going to plan my meals? And I, I think about things a bit more in advance. So I feel more prepared and I just I just like the structure. I feel like I'm more productive when I am dieting, when I am on prep. Um, the thing I like the least is a bit less flexibility, um, which especially now kind of coming out of lockdown, I'm grateful that hopefully the street comp will be wrapped up in like two weeks <laughs> um, because I do, I do love going out for food. I love socializing around food. And I know it's not everything, but the more you diet down, the more restrictive you do have to be. And uh, it just, it just becomes more difficult. What I like the least, I think, overall though, about prep is just the lack of energy um, and how at the back end of it, everything else just needs to fuck off for a little bit. And it's okay, but just being so lethargic, being hangry, not really having much time for anybody else. I, I'm not not the biggest fan of that. So like, I'm, I'm glad that it's only like a really small percentage of it. Um, so yeah. The next question was asking what I wish I'd known before I started my journey. I think I wish that when I first started going to the gym, I wish I'd known that getting a personal trainer was not an expense, that it was an investment. I think I would have learned so much more and I would have improved much, much quicker. But in regards to the beginning of like, say my bodybuilding journey, which I would consider to be when I first started working with Vaughn, I wish I had known a bit more about the world of bodybuilding. I think I, I learned a lot of it organically, but um, I wish I'd known like the importance of posing. I wish, I wish I'd just known to like throw myself into it a little bit more and that 
it's also okay to have a hobby like this um i feel like at the beginning i was quite almost like embarrassed and like awkward about explaining my passions to other people who just like didn't get it um and i wish i'd known that it was okay and that there was a world out there and that there was a world of people who felt the same as i did and who enjoyed the same things as i did as much um i think that's it i think i'm so glad of how i learned everything that i did because it was so organic and it was so like oh and now i do this apparently and i absolutely love it um so yeah i think actually no i wish i told me i told myself or someone had told me to compare myself less to other people but i think that's an ongoing lesson for all of us to be honest And this last question, I really, really like it. Um, so the question is, what gets someone to go from kind of like being gen pop to being like an elite athlete? And obviously that's something that not just myself, but Vaughn and Ali, us as a VWC brand specialise in. It's taking people from just seeing themselves as normal gym people to being able to take their physique to like the next level to become an elite version of themselves. I think what takes someone from that step, like from just being kind of gen pop, as you always would say, and I don't mean that in a derogatory way, but just someone who enjoys training, um, to someone who really pushes themselves to the next level to say, like do a photo shoot and get peeled or compete if they want to. I think the difference is time and just the level of commitment that you need to have to every single stage of the process. And I suppose it ties into the previous question, like when you're dieting, you do just have to be a bit more all or nothing um same with your gaining phase like you have to go all in with every single phase and i think that's what allows you to really make those huge changes a lot of the change inevitably comes like from those physical changes a lot of the change comes also with your mindset and i think that in pushing yourself physically your mind also evolves a lot more and empowers you a lot more and allows you to keep moving forward and strengthens you so much more because it's it's just part of the process i think there's you cannot transform your physique without transforming your mindset and these things just go hand in hand so it's time but it's also kind of that level of commitment the level of willingness to push yourself and no one can do that for you you know it doesn't matter how bad your coach think you should want it it's like how much do you want to really evolve and how willing are you to eventually just make certain sacrifices like sacrifice the fact that your jeans might not fit you for a few months or sacrifice meals out for you know just having to be a bit more restrictive and having a diet coke and a salad you know that type of stuff i think that's what allows that evolution personally from my experience um but in saying that, it, I suppose it also means that there's nothing special about the people who are at the top live at the top level, at the elite level. They are just people who have done the work over and over and over and have really pushed themselves and have pushed their own boundaries, particularly their own self-limiting beliefs. And that's one of the things that we specialize in helping our clients do. It's overcoming those beliefs. Um, I suppose that's a really good segue to just like quickly publicize the fact that we are rerunning our eight-week elite physique program, which is starting on the 26th of May. A chance for you to get as lean as possible in eight weeks you know take advantage of the fact that gyms will be open you'll be in a groove you might just want that next level push to get you into the best structure of training into the best diet plan for, for your training and uh, into the best plan overall for your goals so i will attach the link in the description box um if you're watching this on instagram it will be in the link in my bio to sign up to our eight week elite physique program like i said it's starting on the 26th of may but the pre-registration is now open and if you sign up to the early bird price after pre-registering you will get a discount on the full price and there's loads of prizes actually um at the end of it too so be sure to sign up um and anyway guys those are the top kind of questions that i thought were best that would provide the most value i'm going to wrap this vlog up here so it's not like stupid long as always i hope you enjoyed it and let me know if there's anything else you want to see next week uh this video is going live on the day that gym's open and i cannot fucking wait so everyone go give the fucking beans wherever you are whatever you do and i will see everyone else in next week's vlog thank you so much bye and just like that cardio for the week is done and this is the last kind of workout before gyms open up in scotland Oh my god. Thank you for watching the video, everyone. Comment down below um, if you've got any additional questions that you'd like me to answer. And next week's vlog is probably just going to be a day in the life. Return to the gyms. I am so fucking excited. Thank you, as always. Um, and I'll see everyone in next week's vlog. Bye.